right you all know since it is gametophyte so it is haploid need not write again it will be 2n yes diploid we studied earlier now since it is dominant by this structure you know algae are usually chlorophyllous in a structure since it is chlorophyllous so it will be green since it is green so perform photosynthesis so photosynthetic so green photosynthetic and remember again if it is photosynthesis means it will not depend upon another for its nutrition yes it is not dependent it is independent or better to say it is free living so if an organism is written as free living you have to understand three important hidden terms if it is free living means it is not dependent so de independent why independent because it is green since green so photosynthetic since photosynthesis so synthesizing is food itself there is no dependency of any another body that's why it is dominant no dominance is there so what you find here that its body will be free living since free living so what happen it's green since green so it is photosynthetic since photosynthetic so will not depend upon another so independent right and this is gametophyte it will produce gamete so what you will find that it will produce gamete and and that very gamete will form zygote after the fusion of male and female gamete so again try to locate try to characterized this is sporophytic plant body it is short lived number of cell 1 diploid level 2n diploid diploid level so it is short lived diploid single celled structure represented by zygote this single cell is zygote and since this zygote is not green right this zygote is not green since it is not green so there will be no photosynthesis no photosynthesis so what happen they need nutrition food for their survival so what happen they will depend upon gametophyte so what happen it is not free living not free living since not free living so dependent you can also say it as dependent right so you are finding here how the most of algae will execute such type of life cycle pattern where you will find a very short phase will of 2n that 2n is zygote and that zygote execute meiosis mind well this zygote execute meiosis that's why in haplontic life cycle this zygote is not going to for embryo so this alga are what non embryo fights yes question may ask question may come that can you tell an example of non embryo fights algae why non embryo fights because there is meiosis in zygote zygotic meiosis takes place that's why it is non embryo fight alga now so you are finding how the maximum stage is so meiosis will be there body is n again this n body will mature and 
again there will be mitosis and form n that is male gamete and female gamete this female gamete or male gamete will undergo fertilization and form zygote and this is the reduction division this is the fertilization and this is called alternation of generation where you are finding how the whole body is executing maximum phase is of n and very short phase is of this 2n that's why it's called what have plan kick life cycle very much clear it is so question will come that haplontic life cycle will have embryo generally no because most of algae will execute haplontic life cycle now the second type we have is haplodiplontic life cycle haplodiplontic life cycle it is very much clear by its name haplodiplontic first will be yes second type we have haplo diplontic life cycle pattern so this is very much clear that it is found in two important group yes it is found in all member of bryophytes and all member of pteridophytes there is no any exception algae may have some exception we will conclude at last but in bryophytes and pteridophytes there is no any confusion no any an exception they are unexceptionally haplodiplontic life cycle see this is your bryophyta this bryophyta again as i told you we will distinct their heteromorphic alternation of generation yes see how it is this is your first what you are finding gametophyte maximum body is of gametophyte right so this first structure will be of gametophyte now second structure sporophyte by the diagram you can very much you can easily found which one is dominant what you are finding yes this haploid stage that is the gametophyte is more prodominant right it's leafy gametophyte question will come first leafy gametophyte is found in bryophyte there is no any leaf structure in any gametophytic structure except bryophyta question may come no so what you are finding again here notice this is the gametophyte this gametophyte multicellular so it is haploid you all know it is diploid you all know very similar to an alga now you are finding the whole body is green so remember if it is green so it will be photosynthetic since it is photosynthetic so what happen it will be free living right it will be dominant clear and what you are finding that upon this body this is the gametophyte and sporophyte a sporophyte is present over this gametophyte see so this gametophyte is not green is dually so what we find here that this sporophyte so this sporophyte is multicellular now think how it is advanced than alga in alga zygote single cell sporophyte is there no embryo because zygotic meiosis takes place but here what we are finding we are finding that this zygote undergoes under mitosis and 
during this mitotic cell division this multicellular structure is formed and this is called sporophyte that is well distinct into foot seta and capsule so we find this is multicellular with this multicellular you can say that is an embryo so first embryo phyta we have bryophyte yes so you can say that it is the first embryo phyte right first second it is leafy gametophyte a very exceptional character first embryo phyte bryophyta leafy gametophyte bryophyta these are the characteristic feature now this sporophyte what happened it is found that either if this sporophyte is not very much advanced then it is not green so it is not green so not photosynthetic need food so it will depends upon gametophyte but during the advancement of their sporophytic structure some tissues of sporophyte becomes green since it will turn green so it will be photosynthetic as a result it starts the formation of its food partially so what happened completely no synthesis of food by alga but in bryophyta partially synthesis starts in some member no photosynthetic but in some member partially photosynthetic starts so if it is partially photosynthetic so it will depend partially on this gametophyte if it has no green cells so it will completely depend upon this gametophyte exactly so what do you find that it may green or it may have few green cells few green cells or non green cells notice this point if it is few green so what happened it is partially dependent as in the case of funeria we will study in detail during bryophyte study and non green so what happened fully or completely dependent on gametophyte and this is found in rexia right now rexia right this is liver words though what happened this uh, multicellular structure will develop either in the form of thallioge structure or in the form of foliage structure this thallioge structure good example is rexia and this foliage structure good example is yes it is funeria see this is a structure of funeria what i have drawn under bryophyta right so this is the whole about bryophytes so what do you find question will come main plant body of bryophyte yes gametophyte it is green photosynthetic free living dominant it will produce again gamete male gamete female gamete it will go fertilization right and it will form again zygote and this zygote undergoes not meiosis rather mitosis that's why zygotic mitosis takes place in bryophyta but zygotic meiosis takes place in algae it is also very important question now so this is all about your bryophytes now talk about pteridophytes in pteridophytes what we have similarly see two phases will be there two phases first one is see what do you say which one should be the first stage what do you think which one is the advanced and more dominant see you are finding almost same 50% sporophyte 50% gametophyte yes you are thinking 
incorrect way. You are right. Your observation is correct. That's why we say this is a very unique group of plant kingdom where the sporophyte and gametophyte are independent. There is no dependency of each other. See how this is depend upon this. How this depends upon this. But here it has only roots. Its leaf is green. It has rhizoids for absorption of water. This hard shape, cordate shape, multicellular gametophytic structure is photosynthetic. Since it is photosynthetic, so it will synthesize it for itself. There is no need of dependency for its nutrition. So what we have? The maximum plant, that is the most of the teidophytes are homosporous. So we are talking about homosporous condition. Where main plant body is supposed to be a sporophyte. Yes, to end body. While it alternates with gametophyte, yes, haploid body. Now, what is very common among both of them? It's green. Yes, it is also green. It is photosynthetic. Yes, photosynthetic. It is free living. It will be also free living. Same. But what happened? Comparatively, the sporophyte is more advanced than gametophyte. So it has been supposed that the sporophytic generation is more advanced. Exist more for more time with respect to gametophyte. That's why it is supposed to be dominant. Dominant. That's why question will come: main plant body of teridophyte? Yes, it should be gametophyte, not rather sporophyte. But remember, when we are talking about the bryophytes. The main plant body was gametophyte. But in Teridophyta, we have sporophyte as the main plant body. And both comes under the same life cycle pattern of haplodiplontic life cycle. One very important structure is given, you know, NCRT, which has been confusing by some teacher, teachers as well as students. Get that confusion very much clear. What happened? It is written that it is green, photosynthetic, free living, okay, similar there. It is dominant, so suppose it's not dominant with respect to the sporophyte. This sporophyte is again multicellular. It is also multicellular, no problem again. But what happened? This is gametophytic, so it will produce what? This sporophytic structure is there. And that sporophytic structure will produce a spore. Right? A spore. That very spore give rise to gametophyte. Now notice this thing. I am telling you that very spore forms gametophyte. So these are the spores released from this very body sporophytic structure and remember all these three yes algae bryophyte and teridophytes what you will find the spores are most 